All right, hi guys, it's Dr. Eric here. This is a doozy of a question when it comes to looking at functions. So we're gonna be comparing exponential functions, linear functions, just a whole lot of functions. Um, so I have this in the exponential unit, but the first question actually relates to a linear function. Let's first read the prompt. The company that produces strawberry, grape, and raspberry jam tracked the, tracked the cost to make each type of jam each year. The cost to make a container of each type of jam increased, including the supply costs. The cost in dollars to make the container of strawberry and grape jam are listed below, and then where x represents the number of years, and then the exponential function shows the raspberry jam. So that was nice of us, them for us to get S for strawberry, G for grape, and R for raspberry. So which statement is true about the cost to make a container of strawberry jam? Well, it says strawberry jam, so I'm gonna open up the graphing calculator and I'm gonna type in the strawberry jam recipe. S of X equals 3.10 plus 0.05 X. Now, when I look at this, I'm like, dude, that's a straight line. Why are they giving me a straight line? Well, they're giving us a straight line because it's a linear graph, okay? It goes up not by multiplying, by adding. So this first graph right here is actually linear. Then, so given that information, which information is true? The cost to make a container of jam. So our linear equation, you could do the slope formula like y equals mx plus b. And remember the m is how much it goes up by adding. So cost increase or subtracting, but this is increase and B is the starting value. So all they did is they rearranged the order. They're like, let me just confuse you. This is really what the equation is. They just wrote it in a different way to make it harder. So it says the initial cost was 310 in the year it opened. Yep. And it increased 5% each year. Yep. And so it's choice A but let's just make sure it's not the other ones because we're good test taking students. The cost to make a container of jam was five cents in the year it opened. Well, we just even know that doesn't make sense. How can you make a whole thing of jam for five cents? Er, the container was $3.10, that's true, and it increased 5%. So remember, percent is exponential, and exponential is the whoosh, this isn't a whoosh graph, this is a slow and steady linear graph. So it's not gonna be this because of the percent, nor will it be this because of the percent. So A is the correct answer. All right, let's look on to the one down here. So what does it mean where G of four equals 3.04 in this context? So just because, why not? Let's type in the grape equation because it says G. So I'm gonna do G of X equals 0 0.01 times x minus 1 squared plus 2.95. Okay, let's turn off this equation. And it says g of 4. And yeah, that's what we got, 3.04. So what does that mean? What that means is at 4, at x equals 4, our output is 3.04. Well, what is x? It tells you in the beginning that X represents years. So this is just saying at four years, it equals $3.04. So which one is four years, $3.04? These say $4, so it's not that one. This says $3, so it's not that, or three years, so it's not that one. So it's letter B, process of elimination. This one says, which function represents the cost in dollars to make the raspberry jam? Well, we have A, B, C, D as options, so we're gonna go to our A of X, B of X process. A of X equals 2.0 times 0 0.87 to the X. Well, when I look at that, I can clearly see that my graph is going down, and I'm trying to match it to the raspberry jam graph, which is going up. So I know it's not letter A. Let's do letter B. So I've got E of X equals 
1.2 times 2.0 to the x. All right, well, that goes up. So now we're going to see our key points. Notice how they gave us 0, 2, and 1, 2.4. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 0, 2, and I'm going to do 1, 2.4. Well, now that I've seen that, yes, my graph does go through the blue dot, but it doesn't go through the red dot, so it's not going to be letter B. Let's do letter C. 2.0 times 1.2 to the X. All right, well, if I turn off that, yes, the letter C goes through both Point. So we know that C is the correct answer, but you know me, we're going to try letter D. So I'm going to do D of X equals 2.4 times 0 0.4 to the X. And we can see there that the purple one doesn't even touch either the red or the blue point, so it can't be that one. It's got to be letter C, which is the green graph. Bye, guys.